It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. More recently on social media, I heard that Capcom announced a remake for Resident Evil 4, and I'm gonna share my uh, opinions with you guys because this game has a very special place in my heart. Resident Evil 4 is basically my first ever game into the franchise. Like, this is my copy for the PS4. However, before I got a copy for my PS4, I had a copy for like the Wii, and of course a copy for the PS2. And in terms of the graphics, the PS4, the Xbox, and of course the PC versions are the best looking versions for this game. This game was the first game I played in the franchise. And of course, I started to have a, a development of like, you know, a fascination for this whole entire series because this game pretty much brought me into the franchise back in 2005. And of course, after Resident Evil 4, I got like all the freaking games. Like, look at this kind of stuff. All the stuff that I have right here is just ridiculous. So, after I got, of course, Resident Evil 4, I got the first game on PS1. This was like back in 2005, 2006, 2007. I got the first game on PS1. Of course, I got the second game for PS1 with a broken case. And of course, like the other games that I played, of course, the Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, of course, the remake for the first game, uh, the fifth game, of course, I got that one. I practically have like all these freaking games for Resident Evil, thanks to Resident Evil 4. And if, I was, if Resident Evil 4 never came out in the first place, I would probably, you know, never ever got into the franchise. So. Resident Evil 4 also started my fascination with, of course, Spanish. Because basically in the game, the zombies speak Spanish. And when I was 14 years old, I wanted to know, like, what did the zombies actually said in Spanish. And of course, I study and study and study and study. I could probably, I could talk right now. Of course, it's not as great as other YouTubers, but I can actually talk, have conversations. And so thanks to Resident Evil 4, my fascination with Spanish began with that game. And so I'm not sure how to feel about this kind of news. As you guys already know, like Resident Evil 4 was the first game in the franchise that introduced like this third person sort of camera system. Like prior to Resident Evil 4, like there was like no games in the franchise that actually had like this third person camera. Because like the Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 0, and these other games prior to Resident Evil 4 did not have like a third person camera. They actually relied heavily on a fixed camera system with like tank controls. And so Resident Evil 4, for better or for worse, changed the whole entire gameplay for the franchise. Now there are some arguments of whether or not the tank controls are better or the fixed cameras are better. Like personally, I like both of them. Like I think it's more convenient to use like the third person shooter elements. However, there's nothing wrong with like the tank controls for the remake for Resident Evil 1 or the games in the past. And of course, like this game was like the introduction to like of course like other kind of characters. Like of course, it introduced like you know people to Leon S. Kennedy, Ada Wong, and introduced people to the franchise too, besides me. And so this game was like a big milestone for the franchise. And so the only real thing I could probably change in the remake for Resident Evil 4 would be the fact to, you know, change out the controls for the shooting mechanics. For example, for Resident Evil 4, what you have is that when you pause the game, you have to switch the weapons. However, for the newer games, 
You don't need to pause the menu to switch the weapons. You can actually, you know, switch the weapons while you walk or something. And also, for the newer games, you can practically just, you know, walk and shoot. Whereas, Resident Evil 4 did not have that. Like, basically, Resident Evil 4, you just stop and shoot, stop and shoot. In the newer games, you basically can walk and shoot at the same time. So, I would probably fix those elements for the Resident Evil 4 Remake. And also for the case of the tone. Like, Resident Evil 4 was really silly in terms of the story. Like, the remakes for 2 and 3 are way more serious, way more in line with the newer games. And so, I'm kind of curious if the remake for Resident Evil 4 would actually, of course, be darker in tone comparison to like the past game. And also, and of course, this is just me just, you know, nitpicking, of course, but if you study Spanish like I have, you will realize that the zombies f that were like in Spain do not have the Spanish accent from Spain. You will realize that the Spanish zombies in that game actually have, like, of course, Mexican accents. And so I'm kind of curious if whether or not, like, they would have, like, Spaniards voice the zombies for this kind of game instead of Mexican accents, of course. It's kind of strange when you hear it. Like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, trying to say, like, if somebody was, like, American, and, like, if a character was American, and they have a British accent. That's pretty much the exact same equivalent for the zombies. So... I'm not sure how to feel about this, like, it could be really, really good, it could be really, really bad, but, uh, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And honestly, I'm gonna wait until the game actually comes out, because I cannot judge a book by its cover. You need to judge the final product before casting judgment, and so I'm gonna wait until the final product to finally cast judgment. And until next time, guys, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.